world is full of scary and nightmarish creatures. Some are horrifying, but others might not be as bad as we think. Enter the kangaroo fish. With nicknames like the penis fish and vampire fish, stories of this mysterious river dweller have surfaced since the 19th century. So are they really attracted to urine? And are the stories about kangaroo true? We're gonna separate kangaroo facts from the myths. For two centuries, stories have come from the Amazon about a fish that can swim up your urethra. Lovely. But how true are these stories? And is the kangaroo as scary as we've been told? The kangaroo is a type of parasitic catfish that grows about two and a half centimeters long. It has evolved, specialized, outward-facing teeth to hook onto the gills of unsuspecting fish. These teeth are also perfectly made to make sure the incision does not harm fish gills, and they allow kangaroo to feed on their prey's blood. These unusual adaptations have sparked the stories we've heard about the kangaroo. The first account of the startling way kangaroo supposedly feeds on humans was in 1829 and came from German biologist C.F.P. von Martius. An Amazon tribe told him they wore coconuts to protect themselves near water or when in the water. In 1855, fishermen warned a French naturalist not to urinate in the river or fish would swim into his urethra. And in 1997, a Brazilian neurologist claimed he treated a young man who had problems urinating and bled from his urethra. Examinations and scans revealed a kangaroo in his urethra. The urologist had to surgically remove it. The doctor suggested the kangaroo could be attracted to a chemical in the man's urine. And the legend of the blood-sucking fish that swims up urethras continues. But don't cancel your Amazon River cruise yet. In 2001, a study found that the fish did not respond to chemicals in human urine, which suggests the stories and warnings lack any substantial evidence. It's possible kangaroo could enter the urethra by mistake, also, such cases are not common. Although millions of tourists visit the Amazon River and the surrounding countries where kangaroo live. But in the unlikely event that you do find a kangaroo in your you know where, how dangerous could it be? Well, it could be excruciatingly painful. You could lose blood from the fish feeding on you and the wound would not get treated right away. Don't forget, the kangaroo is a small fish. After eating, it will have consumed about 37 milliliters of your blood in about 30 to 145 seconds. And even though it's been nicknamed the vampire fish, it doesn't suck its host's blood. Instead, kangaroo let their host's natural blood pressure fill them up. It's lazy, but clever. We hope this has cleared up some myths about the kangaroo and that you're still looking forward to a holiday in South America. Talking about sucking blood, are vampire squids really blood-sucking monsters? Check out that episode and others right now. They've been legends near the Amazon River for centuries, and they aren't attracted to urine. That's what kangaroo do and don't do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.